What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and in today's video we are answering the question of how to delete files in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. All right, so in some previous videos I had some files such as hello2.txt or hello.txt that I was copying around and making all these different files. Um, I can show you that and here I can see you have hello and hello2.txt. Well, I want to remove hello.txt, kind of clean up some things, right? So I want to show you how to do that and how you can do it programmatically because what happens if you don't just have one file? What if you have a ton of files that you want to delete? And what would you do? Well, let's start off with a simple case of just one, and we can expand. Essentially, to run this, you're going to need a few. Uh, well, actually, you're just going to need one um, package that you can use. This is we're going to use the built-in OS package. So you need to import that. Um, you don't need to pip install anything because it's already you know part of the the standard library. So you can just do something like that. So right now we have all the packages that we need. So let's get right into the functions that we can use to remove stuff. All right. So essentially, all you need is the function that you need is to be OS dot. Now OS has a ton of stuff that you can use, but we're gonna be looking for um, remove. Now there's a couple of removes. There's remove and remove dirge. We're just gonna go with remove because this one is intended to remove a directory, right? Um, so essentially if I say remove, now the only thing I need to do is provide it the path to the file. So I can say file to be removed and then just run that and come down here and just simply say um, Python how to delete. And just like that, it appears to run. Now let's check in the terminal whether or not it's gone. So if we do an ls again, so before we did ls, we had hello2.txt. Now if we run, it is magically disappeared, right? Now I will caveat these do not go to your trash folder. These get wiped off the system. They get removed. Um, so use this carefully if you don't want to remove a bunch of stuff. Um, but that's essentially how you could remove one file. Now, how would you remove a bunch of files? All right, so to delete multiple files, essentially what we're going to do is re reuse the same uh, line, but now we're going to add it with using, say, like a for loop. So what we're going to do is essentially, um, I'm actually going to change this because, oh, as a caveat too, I did, um, if I ls this folder, I did create a folder called delete me, and if I ls into delete me, you'll just basically see a bunch of files. There's nothing there. Um, they're just empty files, but that's to demonstrate this purpose. So I'm going to say rename this variable to be root uh, file to be removed and then I'm just going to change this to delete underscore me and then like I said we're just going to reuse this line but we need to go and say for file name in root um, OS dot lister. Now a previous video I showed you how to list all the files in a folder and this is basically what we're doing here. Um, now the thing is though if I go ahead and run this we are going to run into a problem. Um, because like I mentioned, this, this right here, this remove function needs the actual path to a file. And as we learned in a previous video, if I just list out the directory, it's going to only list the file names, meaning that the complete path is not there. So this will work if the script that we're running, if we're deleting a, say, a file that's within the same script that we're, or if we're deleting a file that is within the same folder as the current script that we're running, this will work. However, since the, we have the delete me folder uh, right next to our um, how to delete files and Python folder, you'll see that if I run this, and we'll just go ahead and run it, it we get an error saying, hey, file2.txt does not exist. And that's because file2.txt exists in the delete me folder, but that's not the same the same thing because if we print this out and let's actually spell file name right if we print this out and we run it again we get the same error but you'll see that it that's giving us that name and there's no file.txt that exists within this folder um, so we have to give the full path to the file that we don't want to delete and to do that there's a nice little trick you can do i can say complete file path is equal to os.path. Path has a ton of stuff. And we have this join function that you can use and we can give it the root path and then give it the file name. And what's nice about this is this will essentially make it have all this, the correct facing slashes based on your operating system and give you actually the complete path. So now if I run this, if I print this out, um, you will see that now everything should get removed, but also we'll see the name of the files that we get. So if all is good, if we run this again, we should empty. Um, oh, and I didn't, so I didn't change the path to the file and be removed. So it failed because of that. But look, you'll see that it, it found that path right there. And that was just a copy and paste there. So we'll just put that in there. And now everything should run perfectly. And you see that these are all the files that went and deleted. And if I go ls, oops, ls delete me, 
you'll see there's now nothing in there. So just like that, that's how you delete a bunch of files in Python. Um, and the nice thing here too is say your delete me folder had you know a bunch of txt files, a bunch of images files, some PDFs or whatever. The power of using for loops in this case is what you can do is I can say if file name dot ends with dot txt now i can do that if statement logic to basically just say only remove those meaning that all of our pdfs all of our images or whatever is in that folder that we're trying to clean out it'll only clean out the stuff that ends with the dot txt in it so for example that was all of our you know file one file two file three file four dot txt files so that is one way you can leverage the for loops to, to remove multiple files and again these are just simple ways the os dot remove command great way to remove a bunch of files um, in python uh, and I hope this has answered your question on how you can remove, remove a file in Python as well as multiple files in, in Python. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And until next time, keep on programming.